marvelous bible lesson is taken from ezekiel 22nd chapter moreover the word of the lord came unto me saying now thou son of man wilt thou judge wilt thou judge the bloody city a thou shalt shew her all her abominations then say thou thus said the lord god the city shedeth blood in the midst of it that her time may come and make it idols against herself to defile herself thou art become guilty in thy blood that thou hast shed and hast defiled thyself in thine idols which thou hast made and thou hast caused thy days to draw near and art come even unto thy ears therefore have i made thee a reproach unto the heathen and a mocking to all countries those that be near and those that be far from thee shall mock thee which are famous and much vexed behold the princes of israel every one were in thee to their power to shed blood in thee have they set light by father and mother in the midst of thee have they dealt by operation with the stranger in thee have they vexed the fatherless and the widow thou hast despised mine holy things and hast profaned my sabbaths in thee are men that carry tales to shed blood and in thee they eat upon the mountains in the midst of thee they commit lewdness in thee have they discovered their fathers nakedness in thee have they humble her that was set apart for pollution and one hath committed abomination with his neighbor's wife and another hath lewdly defiled his daughter in daughter in law and another in thee hath humbled his sister his father's daughter in thee have they taken gifts to shed blood thou hast taken usury and increase and thou hast greedily gained of thy neighbors by extortion and hast forgotten me said the lord god behold therefore i have smitten mine hand at the dishonest gain which thou hast made and at the blood which hath been in the midst of thee can then heart endure or can then hands be strong in the days that i shall deal with thee i the lord have spoken it and will do it and i will scatter thee among the heathen and disperse thee in the countries and will consume thy thy consume thy filthiness out of thee and thou shalt take thine inheritance in thy in thy in thyself in the sight of the heathen and thou shalt know that i am the lord and the word of the lord came unto me saying son of man the house of israel is to me become dross all they are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace they are even the dross of silver therefore thus said the lord god because ye are all become dross behold therefore i will gather you into the midst of jerusalem as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead 
and then into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it to melt it so will i gather you in my anger and in my fury and i will leave you there and melt you yea i will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath and ye shall be melted in the midst thereof as silver is melted in the midst of the furnace so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof and ye shall know that i the lord have poured out my fury upon you and the word of the lord came unto me saying son of man say unto her the word the land that is not cleansed nor rained upon the upon in the day of indignation there is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst thereof like a roaring lion ravening the prey they have devoured souls they have taken the treasure and precious things they have made her many widows in the midst thereof her priests have violated my law and have profaned mine profaned mine holy things they have put no difference between the holy and profane neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean and have hid their eyes from my sabbaths and i am profaned among them her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves ravening the prey to shed blood and to destroy souls to get dishonest gain and her prophets have daubed them with untempered mortar seeing vanity and divine divining lies unto them saying thus said the lord god when the lord hath not spoken the pro- the people of the land have used oppression and exercised robbery and have vexed the poor and needy a they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully and i sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that i should not destroy it but i found none therefore have i poured out my indignation upon them i have consumed them with the fire of my wrath their own way have i recompensed upon their heads said the lord god here in the bible lesson